Oh, I guess it goes automatically in the next chapter. Oh my head. What happened? <sighs> oh, your axe is neatly set next to you. Well, I guess there's only one what thing to do. Fell on it. <laughs> Press on. See if I can find a way out. Yeah, finding a way out wasn't your first option when you decided to turn it on an ink machine. <clears throat> Alright. That was a short first chapter, so I predict that this might also be kind of short. It's actually longer. The first chapter was more of a demo thing to get people interested. Oh. <clears throat> uh, I played it when it was in demo mode, and the graphics looked a lot different. Too. Like, well, Boris looked a lot different. Like, he didn't look really very animated. He just looked like a stiff. Oh, like an old, thing. like, like an old T-pose kind of thing? Yeah, kind of like he was, like, stuck in the T-pose, and it was, it was awkward. Oh, yeah. Utility shaft. He will set us free! Now, will it be Bendy soup. or the creator? <laughs> soup! Drink the soup. Drink the freaking Black soup. Black, black soup. Oh. Yeah, because... How did this place get so big? An achievement for just eating all the soup. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. <coughs> I mean, I don't know if there is, but there needs to be. Yeah, this guy had a good question on how a place got so big. I mean, like, every game, apparently everything's bigger on the inside. Because they all wanted to steal from the doctor. Wait, I noticed you were getting achievements. Is it on Steam now? It's on Steam, yes. Oh, okay. Well, I got it off of Steam, so I didn't get the achievement. Oh, gotcha. Well, someone's already a believer. Amen. I said, can I get an amen? Okay, where are you at? Hmm, should I walk into the satanic circle? Sure. Just coffins. No, no questioning the coffins. Yeah, just casually walking along. Bendy in train trouble. Yeah, Steamboat Willie. Oh. Totally forgot those two freaking ink cans. You know, when you go to hell, you kind of get a lot of bigger apartments and studios. Well, I'm gonna guess there's something into this hallway. Where did the ink man go? That dancing demon. You can get power to this gate somehow. Should be a couple switches nearby. Then maybe I can open it. Couple of switches. Swing an axe at it. <laughs> that works. That's a lot of soup. Yep. It would benefit you to eat it all. Oh, there's a switch. <laughs> Like, you're required to eat the soup, so it's like canon that he orcs the soup. It was just. Eh. Hey. Hey, you're gonna get fat. Yeah. He isn't already humongous. It's all American bacon. <laughs> well, that's one switch. I do like the physics, so I'm going to guess the other employees probably got turned into those ink men wearing some kind of bendy masks or something. I didn't see what exactly what he was wearing. 
Okay, nothing there. Those look like giant potatoes. Give potatoes to the ink demon. Oh, okay, there we go. So it was going to be another spooky little pop-up or something. Is our ink man going to walk by again? Our animator. But yeah, leave it to an animator to just decide to uh, make a conflict and bring it forth a demon. Yes, I am. Uh, nope. Well, I can't cut the poster down. Oh, but I can cut Bendy down. Well, then. I'm sorry! What? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess you can't cut Bendy down. Can't keep down a good demon. Well, I don't know if I consider him a good demon. Is there a switch there? No. I'd be amused if there actually was an achievement for uh, Chop and Bendy. Well, I guess I can only guess it might be behind here. Uh, nope. Well, you heal quickly. Okay, found that one. Let's go a little bit further back. So, do you, are even the switches in different places? I can't remember. Ah. Oh well. Like, the soup switch is always there, but I don't know about the other two. Hmm. Well. No way going back there, so. No switch here. So, I'm guessing with love requiring sacrifice, they had to sacrifice some people. And animators do sacrifice their life for their productions. A banjo. So, is that played by Boris? Boris with a banjo. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, it actually makes a sound. It's almost musical. Give me a C. Ah, whatever. I'd laugh if actually something came to life because I was playing that. There's that switch. Got an itch. Trying to look at the walls and try and find that last switch, and it's annoying me. I can't really see where it's at at the moment. But like everything else, it's nearby. Well, it can't be two in the same room. Backtracking. I'm willing to bet Bendy is an ink addict or just trying to get more power. Like every demon.
Hello. The only issue <laughs> with these puzzles is a lot of them blend in. <clears throat> eh, depth of perception. Okay, this is the very limit, and I can't find a switch. Puzzles. Now, I can only think there's only one ink machine since it's Bendy and the ink machine. Frickin' addict. I mean, what was really even keeping Bendy from reactivating the machine, unless he was, like, just too small or something? He's ink. Did he just not have enough of a collection, apparently, in one place? Mm -hmm. Yep, activated you. As I bump the mic. Because I got another itch. For a switch. Well, I don't think it's on the ceiling. I don't remember having this much trouble finding the switch. So I don't know what the heck is going on. That's one. Hmm. How aggravating. <clears throat> Beh. There is something I'm missing somewhere that's got to be really obvious. Wasn't there. Unless... Oh. Well, I guess not. Well, I can't cut down the music, because I can't stop the music. Yes, that was a little reference to Hairspray. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Bendy, where'd you hide the last frickin' switch? What even kind of name is Bendy? This is just because he bends his arms a lot and dances like that? The chat is asking if I want a hint, or only when I ask. I mean, I don't want to ask quite yet. 
but I'll be annoyed if it does turn out to be very simple and I've walked by it like 20 times. 20 times. 